Hello friends, welcome, hearty welcome to you. In this session we will see how to prove that a centroid of a triangle divides it into three triangles of equal areas. Now what is centroid? Centroid is point of intersection of medians. So let's try to draw the medians for the triangle ABC. Then we will move forward. We have drawn the medians. So let's name them. Let us say AD is one median. Median drawn from A onto BC. Then we have another median BE and the other median is CF and the point of intersection of the medians is centroid. Generally we call it as G. For now we will take it as O. Okay, right. Now we have to prove that what we have to prove, what is the meaning of centroid of a triangle divides it into three equal triangles. That means if I take centroid and join it with the vertices of the triangle, I should have equal areas. That means triangle O A B area, area of triangle O A B is equal to area of triangle O B C is equal to area of triangle O A C. So this is what we have to prove. This is the meaning of centroid of a triangle divides it into three triangles of equal area. That means you find out the centroid then you join it with the vertices then we have three triangles O A B, O B C, O C A all of them have equal areas. Now for this what is the logic we are going to use? We know that centroid is point of intersection of medians and also we know that median divides triangle into two equal parts. We know that median of a triangle median of a triangle divides it into two equal parts. So we will leverage the concept and we will try to prove that all these three triangles areas are equal. To move forward what I will do, I will divide this, I will just name these small small triangles I have with names, let us with, uh, with numbers so that it's very easy. Let us say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So what is 1? One? 1 is nothing but triangle AOE, 2 is triangle AOC, 3 is triangle COD, 4 is triangle BOD, 5 is triangle BOF, 6 is triangle AOF. Now we want to prove that the triangle area of area of triangle OAB equal to area of triangle OBC equal to area of triangle OAC by using the concept that median of a triangle divides it into two equal parts. How will we do that? For that we are dividing the we are actually numbering the triangle small triangles from 1 to 6. So before moving forward let's find out in this 1 to 6 do we have any relationship like can I say 1 equal to 2 or 3 equal to 4 5 equal to 6 yes we can absolutely say that because 1 and 2 are triangles which are on the same base or equal basis because AE equal to EC E is the midpoint because BE is the median and they are between the same parallel lines. If you draw a virtual line there, they both are meeting at point O. So I can easily say that 1 equal to 2. So let me write down that what we want to say now. We want to say that we are leveraging the concept now that two triangles with equal basis and between the same parallel lines their areas are equal. So 1 is the area of triangle AOE. I can say that 1 is equal to 2. This is coming because AE equal to EC and uh, we can say that E is midpoint or we can say AE equal to EC. AE equal to EC therefore these two triangles AOE and EOC are on equal basis AE and EC and between the same parallel lines. We know that 1 equal to 2. Similarly 3 equal to 4. 
थ्री इक्वल टू फोर बिकॉज बी डी इक्वल टू डी सी अगेन इक्वल बेसिस एंड बिटवीन द पैरल लाइन नेक्स्ट वी हैव फाइव इक्वल टू सिक्स फाइव इक्वल टू सिक्स अगेन वी हैव ए एफ इक्वल टू एफ बी equal basis and between the same parallel line so if you are able to imagine a virtual line here you can parallel line to ab then you can see that triangle eof and triangle fob are on equal basis af comma fb and between the same parallel lines so 1 equal to 2 3 equal to 4 and 5 equal to 6 Now let us consider the median AD. We are considering the median AD. We know that AD median divides the triangle into two equal parts. So if I take AD median, AD median divides it into two equal parts. You can see that one plus two plus three equal to four plus five plus six. I think you should be pretty much comfortable with that. One plus two plus three equal to four plus five plus Six. We are able to understand this because AD is the median, and median of a triangle divides it into two equal parts. Now you know one equal to two, so can I write it as two into one because one equal to two plus three is equal to. We also know five equal to six, so can I say four plus two into five? So also we know that three equal to four, so I can cancel them. And I can simplify two cancel both sides. I will get one equal to five. So we got extra now. We found out that one is also equal to five. So now I'll write down here one is equal to five. We found out that one equal to five. Okay, this we have we are able to find it out that one equal to five by using the median. AD. Now let us take another median. We will take another median now. Let us instead of AD, let us take the median BE now. We will say BE is our median now. We will say BE is our median now. Let us see what happens. If BE is our median, then triangle ABC is divided into two parts, and I can say that one plus five plus six equal to two plus three plus four. One plus Five plus six is equal to two plus three plus four. Now we know that five and six are same. So can I write it as one plus two into five because five equal to six is nothing but equal to two plus. Three equal to four. We know. We know three equal to four. So can I say two times of three? Now we know that one equal to two already. So I can cancel one equal to two. I can simplify two into five equal to two into three. Two two cancels. Can I say that three equal to five? This is another point we got that one equal to five and also three equal to five. So can I go back and say that now one equal to five equal to three? Okay. Now let's write it down here. What's happening? One we know is equal to two. Yes, we know one is equal to two, but two is equal to. We know one equal to two, and we also know that one equal to three. Therefore. We know one equal to. We know one equal to two, and we also know one equal to five, and we also know one equal to three. So one equal to two equal to three, and three is equal to four, and one is equal to five. So that is also equal to five, and five equal to six. So what we understood now that. these areas whatever we have numbered 1 2 3 4 5 6 all of them are equal they all are equal once we are able to understand that now let's go to the triangles what we want and see what they will make up now once we have proven that 1 equal to 2 equal to 3 equal to 4 equal to 5 equal to 6 you can see that triangle area of triangle oab let's take oab oab is nothing but equal to 5 plus 
6. This is equal to triangle OBC that is equal to 4 plus 3 that is also equal to triangle OAC which is equal to 1 plus 2. We know that 1 equal to 2 equal to 3 equal to 4 equal to 5 equal to 6. So, can I write it as 2 into 1 in terms of 1 we write all of them that is equal to 2 into 1 again here 2 into 1 that means the area of triangles OAB is equal to OBC equal to OAC or can we say centroid of a triangle divides it into three triangles of equal areas. Let us try to summarize this. We have been given a triangle ABC. We have to prove that the line joining centroid to the vertices divides makes three triangles and these three triangles are equal in areas or the centroid divides a triangle into three equal areas. So, we know centroid is a point of intersection of medians. So, first we have drawn the medians AD, B, A, C, F. Now, we see that there are small, small triangles there. We just numbered them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, we know that AD, B, E, C, F are medians. We have considered first, we have considered, we, we have seen that there are some three pairs of triangles which are equal in areas because they are on the equal base and between the same parallel lines. They are 1 equal to 2, 3 equal to 4, 5 equal to 6. Now, we have used AD median and we are able to prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 4 plus 5, 5, 5 plus 6 by which we are able to say that 1 is equal to 5. Similarly, we have used BE median and we are able to prove 1 equal to 3. So, 1 equal to 3 equal to 5 means all of them are equal in areas. That means any triangle OAB or OBC or OAC, all of them are nothing but addition of two small triangles. That's nothing but all of them are equal. So, centroid of a triangle divides it into three triangles of equal areas. So, that's one proof which we will be generally using this whenever we do problems. We will say, okay, this is centroid. So, the triangle area, I know this area of triangle is one third of the total triangle. So, we do that. But what is the proof behind that? I just thought of sharing it with you. So, thanks for your support and time. Bye for now.